Hello everyone, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with a, another wonderful vid. Obviously you've read the title of this so you know what it's going to be about. It's been, going to be about uh, getting rid of collections and maybe a little bit of regret attached to that uh, action. Now, I know in my previous video I talked about getting rid of my cassette collection and the specific reason why I did it, I told the full story and, and told told about feeling some regret doing that. Um, now, uh, that cassette collection is not the only collection I've ever gotten rid of in my entire life, right? Um, when I was a kid, there were a couple of times when I got ri rid of uh, like certain video game systems, but it I was a pretty young kid when I did it. I had a, a fairly sizable um, NES and Game Boy collection. Oh, and Sega Genesis. So three. NES, Genesis, and, and Game Boy. Um, I mean, they weren't giant collections, but they were collections to, you know, they were, they were my stuff. And, uh, you know, um, I got rid of them basically by going to GameStop or somewhere similar to that uh, and trading them in for other games and getting I remember getting very little money for it but I still remember doing it um, you know to get something else and um, you know honestly uh, now of course I wish I had hung on to all that stuff uh, you know because it would have been just nice to have throughout the years and you know, maybe nowadays I could sell it for a bit more if I decided to sell it. You know, it would still be nice to have. So I definitely feel some tinges of regret getting rid of that stuff. Um, and that's stuff that I remember exactly how I got rid of it. Other stuff that uh, I had growing up, uh, fairly large collections of, um, that I got rid of stuff. Um, I had a, um, I had amassed... A really large, uh, and that's going to sound silly, but that's all right. Um, I had amassed a really large um, Masters of the Universe collection, uh, He Man. I had tons and tons of uh, the original run of figures. I had, I don't know how many I had total, but I know I had a lot of them, right? Uh, and I was a kid who actually took pretty good care of my toys even back when I was a young kid. Um, I didn't really lose too many accessories, so I had weapons in, in the whole nine yards. Uh, I know I had the Castle Grayskull play set. I know I had a number of vehicles. Um, so basically, I, I just know I had a lot of them. But of course, as I grew up, um, you know, and quote, outgrew them, uh, they got given away uh, to you know, just like giving away to Goodwill or whatever, right? And that's not the only uh, set of toys that I ever had growing up that, that met that fate. In fact, almost all of my toys from what, the time I grew up met that fate. So, um, which is kind of a bummer because it would have been nice to, you know, hang on to that stuff and kind of, you know, as, as you guys, as I've mentioned before, I collect Transformers, but it would have been nice to have some of that stuff to kind of curate in a collection even now just uh, you know to have the memories of it um, also uh, a collection that di two collections of other things I had as a kid that disappeared and I really have no idea what happened to them uh, I used to have many many comic books and baseball cards um, and I have no idea what happened to those so um, I'm sad they're gone, but I don't know how they're gone or why they're gone. So, you know, that stuff is just gone. Now, of course, uh, since I've been an adult, um, I haven't gotten rid of much of uh, stuff I collect. I've held on to the vast majority of it. Um, now, uh, I selectively will get rid of things. Like, I, I recently uh, got rid of my uh, NES collection that I had because... Uh, you know, I no longer had a working console. I really didn't want to spend more money on another console, yada, yada, yada. So I managed to sell all that stuff. And I don't really regret that because um, I had reacquired the NES stuff as a, a young adult. Um, 
so it wasn't as much of a direct memory for me as you know the stuff I had when I was a kid. So selling it off, you know, 15 years, 16 years after I originally rebought it, that wasn't so bad <laughs> uh, for me, you know. So um, I don't know. I was okay with that because I'm able to recreate that experience uh, in a number of ways. So there are certain things I'm definitely okay with selling and letting go of. Um, you know, but for the moment, it's I definitely have a lot of stuff, and I do need to start purging some stuff. But it's going to be in a measured way, um, and in a controlled way. It's not going to just be me like, "Hey, I'm going to get rid of everything." Boom, it's gone. It's going to be, uh, you know, in a way that I'm okay with doing it because you know, I'm okay with getting rid of a collection if uh, a couple of things. One. If I can easily recreate the experience uh, another way, like with video games, you know, through emulation, right? Uh, if I can emulate the experience of older consoles perfectly using other means, um, getting rid of the... I'm not a, an original hardware purist. I can get rid of that stuff. It won't kill me, but I'm a little reluctant to do it on some of my favorite stuff. I know I just contradicted myself, but... I'm probably the most okay with getting rid of, say, old video game systems. That's something I can part with probably the most easily of the things that I collect, right? Um, as far as my music uh, collection goes, like CD, uh, of course, basically listening to a FLAC or MP3 file is uh, pretty much the same as listening to the CD, but, you know, an MP3 doesn't really replicate you know, the physical, the physicality of a CD. Um, it's, it, yeah, you can look at the booklet and all that online, but it's not the same as, whole, you know, actually having the thing, right? There is a difference with the physical CD versus a uh, digital copy of it, even though the sound is, the, is more or less is the same. So, um, I'm... I know one day I'm going to have to get rid of that stuff, and I'm going to cover that in my next video, actually. But, um, you know, that's that's basically it. So, so really the main point of this is I have gotten rid of certain things over the years, and it seems like I have less regret about getting rid of stuff if I've knowingly done it, you know, as an adult and had full control over it and got rid of it in a way that I was okay with, you know, like, like if I can get basically whatever the items, it, if I'm basically ready to get rid of the items and I can get more or less what they're worth, you know, at the time when I get rid of them, I'm okay with it, right? But, uh, you know, if I act hastily or, you know, I, I get get rid of them and I don't get much value out of them when I do get rid of them that can lead to regret so that's really uh, you know this long rambling video basically was just coming to that point so if you made it through this whole thing I really appreciate it I'd really be interested to hear uh, in the comments below what you guys think about this topic um, you know because I know many of you collect music or other stuff so let me know what you think anyway as always that's it if you like this thumbs up if you hate me Thumbs down, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Live long and prosper.